In today's video, we will talk about the two most important layout widgets in Flutter, row and column. And not just theory, we will also build this simple profile UI together with row and column. Ready? Let's go. So what exactly a row widget? And as the name suggests, a row widget places its children horizontally from left to right. Let me show you with a simple example. Here is a row widget. And inside the children property, we have added three containers, each with different sizes and colors. Now let's run the application. And as you can see, the containers are placed next to each other side by side. This is perfect when you want a horizontal layout like the action buttons or horizontal list of icons. But what if you want to control how the children are aligned within a row widget? And that's where the main axis alignment and cross axis alignment comes in play. For a row widget, main axis is horizontal and cross axis is vertical. Let's explore this with a quick demo. To control the horizontal alignment, we can use main axis alignment property. And to set the value, we can use main axis alignment enum. And it provides different values to control the alignment. Like if I want to place the children at end, we can use end value, hit save. And as you can see, all the containers are placed at the end. To distribute space evenly between them, we can use space evenly, hit save. And as you can see, the space is distributed evenly between the containers. Similarly, to control the vertical alignment, we can use cross axis alignment. And to set the value, we can use cross axis alignment enum. It also provides different values like let's use start. And as you can see, the containers are placed at the start vertically. To place the containers at the end, we can use end value, hit save. And as you can see, the containers are placed at the end. These properties gives you fine grain control over the layout and positioning. And here is the cool trick that many beginners miss, the main axis size property. By default, a row try to occupy as much as space available along its main axis, which is horizontal. But what if you want the row to shrink its content along its main axis, which is horizontal. And that's where the main axis size property comes in play. Let's explore this with a quick demo. Here I have wrapped the row widget inside a container and set the background color so that we can get a clear idea about how much space our row widget is taking. And currently, as we can see, our row widget is taking all the horizontal space. Now let's set the main axis size property. To set the value, we can use main axis size enum and it provides two values, max and min. Max is the default value. Now let's set it to min, hit save. And as we can see, the row widget is now taking the space needed by its children. This is super useful when embedding rows inside other widgets like cards and columns. And now let's flip things vertically. Meet column widget. A column widget places its children vertically from top to bottom. Let me show you with a simple example. Let's replace this row widget with column. Hit save. And as we can see, the containers are now stacked vertically. Just like with row widget, we can also control the alignment in column widget. The only difference is axis. For column widget, the main axis is vertical and cross axis is horizontal. So use main axis alignment to align the widgets vertically and use cross axis alignment to align the widgets horizontally. And lastly, the main axis size is currently set to min value. So the column widget is taking only the space needed by its children. And if I remove this property, hit save. And as we can see, the column is now taking maximum vertical space available. Let's use what we have learned and build this simple profile UI. First, think of this UI vertically. Here we have a profile picture, name, job title, social icons, a separator, about me text and some description. So for the main structure, we will use column widget. And that's our skeleton. Now let's fill it in. As per our profile UI, first we have the profile picture. So to display it, let's go to Visual Studio Code. I have already added the profile picture in the asset slash images directory and also configured the asset in the pubspec.yaml file. So let's go to profile page and here we will use image.asset widget to display the profile picture as the image is local. 
and here we'll specify the path of the image images slash profile dot png and note that i have wrapped the column inside the container widget and also specified the color to understand how much space our column widget is taking when we add the widgets let's hit save and as you can see our profile picture is showing up in the simulator generally the column widget takes maximum vertical available space and space needed by the children along the horizontal axis but here as our image is very big it's also taking the maximum horizontal space let's try adding some width and height to our image let's specify it as 200 height also as 200 let's save and as we can see our column widget is now taking only the space needed by our profile picture horizontally and our profile picture is also looking good but there is one problem our image is not centered yet but don't worry we will fix this when we display the social icons next we have name and subtitle so let's display it using the text widget let's specify the name over here Manoj Kulkarni it's save as you can see our text is getting displayed but as per our profile ui it's not bold and big so let's specify some style using the text style and let's increase the font size first to maybe 30 and set the font weight to bold it's save and as we can see our name is looking good as per the profile ui now let's specify the subtitle as well using the text widget flutter developer it's save and as we can see the subtitle is also getting displayed but as per our profile ui the font size should be a little bit big so let's specify this style to increase this font size text style font size to maybe 20 it's save and now it's looking good but there is no spacing between these widgets so let's specify one property called spacing for the column widget which will add the spacing between these widgets and as we can see the spacing has been added next we have the social icons and all the icons are in a horizontal layout so we'll be using a row widget for this so let's go back to visual studio code and let's add a row widget children and we'll be using the font awesome icons to display these icons it's because the default icons provided by the flutter does not contain these icons like github linkedin twitter and youtube so and i already configured the font awesome icons in this project so let's use the far icon widget and let's specify the icon first one is github hit save and as we can see our icon is getting displayed and there is also one more change our column widget is now taking the maximum horizontal space as well it's because by default a row widget takes maximum horizontal space and our row widget is now inside the column widget and currently the icon size is very small as compared to our profile ui so let's increase the size of the icon let's specify it maybe 50 and it's now looking good and let's repeat this for other icons as well hit save and as we can see our icons are getting displayed but there are two problems first one there is no spacing between these icons and second these icons are not centered so let's fix that and as we have learned we can align these icons horizontally using the main axis alignment it's because for row widget main axis is horizontal so let's specify the main axis alignment and we can specify that using the main axis alignment enum let's make it center and as we can see our icons are now centered and to add the spacing between them we can use the spacing property let's specify it as 20 maybe it's save and as we can see our icons are now looking good as per the profile ui next we have a separator and to display it let's go to visual studio code and we'll be displaying the separator using a new widget called divider hit save and as we can see our separator is getting displayed 
over here and currently the separator is not clearly visible it's because we have a background color but we'll be removing this once we complete the ui next we have the about me text and some description so let's go to visual studio code and before adding those contents let us remove this container widget and hit save and now let's add the about me text using the text widget about me hit save and as we can see the text is getting displayed but if you look at the ui the font size should be bigger and it should be in bold so let's make that using the style property let's specify it using the text style let's first increase the font size to maybe 30 and specify the font weight as bold hit save and as you can see it's looking good now but there is an extra space between the separator and the about me text so let's go to visual studio code we have already added the spacing between the widgets using the spacing property which is 10 but we need some extra spacing so we can add that using the size box widget and we need a vertical spacing so we have to use the height property let's specify it as maybe 10 maybe and it's save and if you look at the ui it's now looking good and lastly we need to add the description so let's add that using the text widget and let me paste the description hit save and as we can see it's looking good but if we look at the profile screen ui there is little bit of padding from top left and right so to fix this we have to wrap our column widget inside a padding widget so we can add that using the padding widget like this and let's specify a padding of 10 from all sides hit save and as we can see it's looking good now and just like that we have implemented this simple profile ui together using the rows and columns and that's it for today thanks for watching and happy coding